biggest reason is my grandpa came here. Um, he graduated here with a degree in mechanical engineering. Um, he ended up working on the Sulox for a while as a civil engineer um, and just listening to his stories growing up. Um, and he spoke very highly of this school. It, uh, it made the decision pretty easy for me. He's kind of kept up with the school as time goes on. And he mentioned the career fair a lot um, in getting jobs, especially for like civil and mechanical majors. It's very competitive. Um, a lot of companies are always looking for students. Uh, I was able to get an internship my second year. And through them, I did a lot of uh, geotechnical testing. And I even got to work on the Sulox, which was cool, because that's what my grandpa did. The first two years are very similar for everyone in like the civil, mechanical, all the, pretty much all the engineering programs. Um, and then after that, you start to specialize more. Um, and that's really what made like my junior year and my senior year the most fun. Um, I, I enjoyed my first two, but really getting to specialize in the field and see what's happening along with being able to work internships in the summer. Um, it was just a really cool experience to see all that in my second year. I also really like the club opportunities. So we have organizations like the Student Steel Bridge Competition, Concrete Canoe. Um, there's Boat World Enterprise with you know Timber Strong as a part of that. Um, really good opportunity to see how the design process works for engineers. I'm hoping to go into some geostructural work, um, designing foundations, uh, maybe focusing a little more on the geotechnical side. So figuring out like bearing capacity of soils and working with structural engineers to design buildings, um, make sure the foundations aren't too, you know, sinking or anything. Soil mechanics, um, foundation design, which I'm hoping to take in the near future, um, steel design, uh, structural concrete design. There's all those, you know, direct classes that actually help you with that. And then, like I mentioned earlier with career fair, getting you into the actual like boots on the ground experience with engineering. That's been huge as far as, far as helping me along that. The first two years are a little trickier, but once you hit your third and your fourth year, um, it actually gets a lot easier and it gets a lot more enjoyable because you're, you're starting to specialize in things that you came for, right? Once you get your math out of the way, like Calc 3 and differential equations and stuff, um, really starts to open up. So if you just stick it out those first two years, even if it's, if it's a little rough, um, I think you're going to find that you really enjoy what you're getting into in your third and fourth. You're going to be having classes with pretty much the same people every year. So as long as you're willing to talk to people a little bit, um, get some study partners, the networking comes naturally. Um, I'm, I'm not a super outgoing person, but now that I'm in my fourth year, I know pretty much everyone in my classes. Um, able to study with them. And then the same applies for the professors too, right? You get very familiar with the professors in the civil program because a lot of them teach multiple classes. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions in class. Like, even if you feel embarrassed, like, man, no one else is asking this question. If you have a question, most other people are thinking about asking that question too, and they're just in the same headspace as you. So yeah, don't be afraid to raise your hand during class.